In this video, I'm going to show you how you can verify the proper functionality of your MIDI controller. In this case, I have an Akai MPK-225. And on my computer, I opened a program called MIDI Monitor. The MIDI Monitor essentially shows the MIDI messages that the MIDI controller is sending uh, to your computer. So if you press a key, yeah, you see a node on and a node off message, as well as for the uh, pads. Um, here for the pads, you also see that there's that there are channel pressure messages, which is for the aftertouch. Now I'm surprised I don't see the same for my for my keys. There's only a node on and a node off event that is uh, shown on the screen. But let's test out the controls. So if I turn the knobs, we want to see that the controllers, that the knobs are sending control messages as well as the assignable switches. And if I change the bank for the pad, I also want to see different node events. Furthermore, uh, the transport controls should issue some messages exactly. Okay, so all looks good except for the aftertouch on the keys. How about the modulation wheel? Okay, we've got events here, pitch wheel, cool. Now let's just verify that aftertouch for the keys is actually enabled. Go into the edit mode. Okay, we see that aftertouch is actually on. This is enabled for the for any of the note keys. Still, I'm not getting any aftertouch messages, uh, which tells me something is wrong with the keyboard. And I will have to go back to the store. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful for you, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.